Welcome to AccuWeb Hosting Video Tutorial. Today, we will see how to check the logs for failed RDP login attempts on a Windows system. Remote Desktop Protocol, RDP, lets users connect to other computers remotely in Windows, but it can be targeted by hackers, like in brute force attacks. To keep your server and network safe, it's important to watch for failed RDP login attempts. Windows has a built-in tool called Event Viewer that tracks these attempts and other system events. In this video, we'll show you how to check the logs for failed RDP login attempts on a Windows system. First, login into your Windows server with an administrator user. Press Win Plus R to open the Run module and type event for .msc. Then click on OK. It will open the Event Viewer application. In the left pane, navigate to Windows Logs and then click on the Security option. This is where Windows stores the logon and logoff events, including failed RDP login attempts. Go to the right side of the screen and click on the Filter Current Log under the Actions section. In the Filter window, under the Event IDs field, enter the Event ID 4625 to list down the failed login attempts. This ID will include information about failed RDP logins. Click OK to apply the filter. The logs will now show events with the ID 4625, which indicates failed login attempts. These events include the following information. In the log details, you will get a name, source, and other log information. In the subject, you will get the account name, domain, and security information about the login. In the login type, you will see a method for logging on such as using the local or remote keyboard over the network. This field value is expressed as an integer, the most common being two, local keyboard, and three, network. In the account for which login failed, you will find the name, domain, and other details for the failed login. Here, you can see the account for which login failed is the administrator user. In the failure information, you will get the reason for the failure and the status of the attempt. The reason for the failure here is an unknown username or bad password. In the process information, you will get the name and ID of the originating process. In the network information, you will get the name, IP address, and port where the remote login request originated. These values are left blank for local logins or if the information can't be found. Here, you can see the IP address from which the user tried to access the Windows VPS. In the detailed authentication information, you will get details about this specific login request. That's all. Let's quickly sum up the context of this video. We saw how to check the logs for failed RDP login attempts on a Windows system. If you like our technical videos, Please press the subscriber button and bell icon to receive instant notification of our new videos. Each like is important to us, so do not forget to thumb up. To download a PDF file of this video, please subscribe to our Telegram channel, AccuWeb Hosting, where you will have the access of PDF files of all our videos. Thank you for watching.